Queen Deja, and in today's video, I will be reacting green to episode three of Parallel World Pharmacy. So let's go ahead and get started in three, two, one, go. Ain't it funny that he got sick? Because, I mean, come on now. No, your son will go. You will stay here. Right? You got the common cold? <laughs> oh, God. Like, oh, God. It, it's not even, like, it's only summer. And I, like, the way I feel about people, especially when it gets to cold and flu season is uh I, I can't stand it like it's it's it, it happens but I hate like okay what I used to hate about when I used to go to school <laughs> was if we um if we had one person who got a cold one or two people because usually that's how it started and then it slowly but surely spread so I remember one time I was in class I had a pencil and um one of my classmates said, hey, Khadija. And I was like, yeah, what's up? Um, and they were like, can I borrow a pencil? And I said, sure. So I gave him one of my mechanical pencils. And did not know that this person was sick. So I, I hear someone coughing in like somewhere around me. And I turn to my right. And it's the person who I gave my mechanical pencil to. So the end of class comes. And he, he was like, oh, you want your pencil back? I was like, nope, you keep it. I was like, I'm, I'm sitting here thinking, bro, you're sick now. And you're going to try to give me my pencil back? Sir? No. <laughs> no. I'm okay. Keep the pencil. I can buy more. But still, it is funny that his dad got sick. But I would have suspected that he would have stayed home and had his son just do everything. But, okay. So, oh. Is she gonna die? Damn.
There's got to be something else he can do in time. She could die, but she's already dying at the same time. Wait, you can't just say that. Excuse me. He literally has one chance to not fuck this up. Aw, shit. I want his dad to not fucking interfere. Like, sit on the damn sidelines.
things, right? Um, Ah, oh, shit. Exactly, they'll trust you more if you say something rather than your son. I'm falling for this damn child. Oh my god. Like <laughs> three episodes in, damn. <laughs> That's worse than Rudy. <laughs> I fell for him only because of the season two trailer. What the fuck? should, but he isn't. Mm. Yeah, because in a way, you have nothing else to teach him.
That's the Cancer. Well, damn, we're going to have everybody look. Tease us. That is. But she could make it out. So, you do have something to say, right? be the day you got to drop by lightning. But he still is your son. <laughs> I mean dang you that that's so similar to like um Lutz and mine from Bookworm and I was like you're not mine <laughs> Just talk about how fast this episode went by. I mean, the for, like Ruby Ice Queendom that went by fast, and like same thing with this.
How can you say no? That was sweet. week that we do get like a little um progression on the majesty the queen so here's hoping um but like i love the the little bickery of thelma and his dad i mean it's very interesting because yes he knows that this thelma that's not his son but he is special and such. And the fact that he decided to put all of his trust into him, like, yes, it's very interesting. And he, he knows in his heart, like, his son's son that he grew up with, he raised and stuff for however long his years were. So that could be, like, what? Because, like, I'm guessing Balma, body-wise, he's supposed to be, like, what? 13, 12, 13, 14, maybe? So, like, 14 years of his life, and then, damn, he dies, and we move on and such. But he gets to now kind of have a do-over with his son and to not be so judgmental in a way because it seems like he is and very pushy onto his son. Um, because, of course, like, it, it just depends on how, of course, a person was raised by... A previous gen and then they take whatever their parents gave them and they do that with their offsprings and so on and so forth but i mean yeah the episode was good it just went by fast i mean really both of these two different shows with these episodes today went by hella fast i'm like damn like what what are we doing <laughs> what are we doing like why is this going by so freaking quickly i have no problem with it i love it um, but I do hope that the majesty is okay. Of course, we won't know until next week. But, um, just that moment where he really was going to attack his son. Not only with, like, the, first he attacked the paper, and then, like, really going after his son, and then using his magic to throw icicles at him, and how Thalma was like, you know what, let me stop this, and putting this wall of ice between the two, and then him seeing the holy mark, like, that's when he was like, oh, shit, this ain't my kid. <laughs> Who the hell are you? So I feel like now, like, may, do I feel like they kind of, their relationship has bonded a little bit more and they've deepened? Yes, I really do think that. Do Are they going to bicker a little bit more later on in this series? Yeah. I mean, this is only the first three episodes of this show, and we're still really relatively at the beginning of it, so really anything else could happen. That's really the same thing with, like, we're still at the start of summer animes, and... We, we haven't gotten into, like, the nitty-gritty of it. And I feel like with this and a couple of other things, um, maybe I, I have this, like, weird feeling, like, possibly by the halfway point, something is going to happen. I, I thought that, like, with this episode, we were going to see a death. It still could be possible that we might see something because, like, okay, let me go into, like, um some of the medical shows that I used to watch, like the freaking, like stuff on NBC, ABC, whatever. Um, I used to watch Chicago Med. Chicago Med used to be one of those good behind shows, but like now it, it's just, it, it, it's still good, but it, it's just not the greatest. There was this one episode where one of the doctors really wanted to save this child. And I feel like it was a point where he was trying to like, do CPR like so freaking much to save this child to bring this child back to life but we as the audience and then the actors portraying these characters we all knew and of course in that script that the child was no longer alive but as a doctor and I've seen this even like when I was at the hospital myself like a while ago how so much no matter what Doctors, nurses, whatever, they're always dedicated to try to stay alive. But you you never really know. So I feel like we're going to get an episode where Thelma is going to get very emotional in trying to save someone's life. And it's going to be like probably a really sad moment to watch. I don't know if we are going to get that. I do kind of want that because 
of course, he needs to experience that where it's like, yes, you, you know, this is your job. This is your career. You know, you have someone else's life in your hands and on the line. And I, I think that's one of the most scariest things. And, and hence why I could never really do anything in medical because that would freak me out in my opinion. But this is what doctors, nurses, everyone has to go through on a daily basis and stuff. And you never really get to see um, the side, uh, the sad side of being a nurse or a doctor or anything, especially when you become so attached to a person and one minute they're here and the next minute they're gone. I think that's one of the most emotional things because my, as my mother, who is a CNA, um, she has to put up a strong front every single time when she goes to work, especially if she becomes attached to someone and, um, she told me stories where she did set, did she, she did have someone on the, uh, on their floor. Um, they've had several people on her floor that have passed away to COVID, um, cancers, so many different things. And she's had to put on such a strong face while she's at work. But when she comes home and when she tells me about it, she breaks down and I hate seeing my mom cry. I really do. It, it's one of the most, like, I hate seeing anybody cry. Um, and it's not going to make me cry because, and that really happens. Like when I see someone cry, I end up crying with them and I try to console them and then it makes me very emotional and everything and it, and it hurts. And so I feel for people when they lose someone who they really care about. And I feel like we're going to get that. I don't know when, but something tells me we are, but yeah, I really enjoyed the episode. Once again, too fast, but so enjoyed it. But other than that, guys, that is my reaction view towards episode three of Parallel World Pharmacy. If you guys enjoyed it, please give me a like. It really helps me out. Also, subscribe to my channel and make videos every single day. Join the Master Squad. And, of course, I will see you guys officially all next Sunday for episode four. Bye, guys.